The echoes of Flight 6 still resonate at Starbase, but something remarkable is happening at the launch pad. As dawn breaks over the Texas coast, teams of engineers work tirelessly on what appears to be routine maintenance. But look closer, and you'll witness a transformation that could revolutionize SpaceX's future launches. The launch tower, that massive structure reaching into the Texas sky, is undergoing its most significant evolution yet. Every bolt, every weld, every modification tells a story of innovation born from experience. SpaceX isn't just preparing for another launch. They're rewriting the rulebook on how we send rockets to space. December 23rd marked a pivotal moment in this journey. A single image from Starship Gazer revealed what many had suspected. SpaceX has completely reimagined the Mechazilla system for Starship 5-2. This isn't just an upgrade. It's a complete rethinking of how we handle the world's largest spacecraft. The changes we're seeing aren't just cosmetic. They represent SpaceX's relentless pursuit of perfection, a testament to their philosophy of rapid iteration and fearless innovation. From the redesigned lifting pins to the reinforced launch mount, every modification serves a crucial purpose in ensuring the success of Flight 7 and beyond. Hello everyone and welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Today we're taking you behind the scenes of these groundbreaking changes at Starbase, showing you exactly how SpaceX is preparing for their most ambitious launch yet. Let's dive right in. At the heart of Space's X's latest innovation lies a revolutionary redesign of the Mechazilla system. The lifting mechanism, crucial for handling the massive Starship Vi-2, has undergone a complete transformation. Gone are the days of the simple ball and socket joint. SpaceX's engineers have developed something far more sophisticated. Picture this engineering marvel, a dynamic swiveling black ring that rotates seamlessly around a reinforced ball joint at each lifting pin's end. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reimagining of how we handle the world's largest spacecraft. The new system transfers the mechanical complexity away from the spacecraft itself, placing it on the tower where it belongs. During the intense heat of re-entry, when thermal expansion threatens to compromise traditional lifting points, this system remains steadfast and reliable. But here's where it gets really interesting. Our analysis suggests this new design isn't just about lifting. Sources close to the project hint at a broader vision, the potential for self-adjusting catch mechanisms. When Starship returns from orbit, even if it's slightly off-center, these advanced swiveling pins could guide it into position like a gentle giant's hands. It's a level of precision that seemed impossible just months ago. The changes don't stop at the lifting mechanism. The launch mount itself has received significant attention. Remember the scorched and weather-beaten structure we saw after Flight 6? SpaceX has completely revitalized it with more than just a fresh coat of paint. The new protective coating, applied on December 24th, incorporates advanced thermal-resistant compounds. This isn't your typical industrial paint, it's a specialized formula designed to withstand both the corrosive sea air and the intense heat of launch. Behind the scenes, SpaceX engineers have been tackling one of their most persistent challenges, the Booster Quick Disconnect BUD system. This critical component has faced repeated challenges during previous launches, particularly with hot gas intrusion. The solution? A complete redesign of the housing system the team has replaced vulnerable access panels with permanently welded protection plates, creating an unprecedented level of structural integrity. The changes we're seeing at Pad B tell an equally compelling story about SpaceX's future ambitions. The newly installed flame bucket and diverter system represents the latest in aerospace engineering. But what sets this apart is the integration of a water-cooled top layer, a feature that our sources suggest could handle even more powerful launches than currently planned. This hints at SpaceX's long-term vision for more powerful Starship variants. Looking ahead to 2025, these upgrades take on even greater significance. SpaceX isn't just preparing for more launches. They're laying the groundwork for a revolutionary advancement in space exploration. Orbital refueling. The enhanced durability and precision of these new systems are crucial for supporting up to 25 Starship flights next year each potentially playing a role in testing and perfecting in-orbit propellant transfer. The propellant transfer technology itself is evolving rapidly. 
Building on March's successful demonstration of cryogenic propellant transfer between onboard tanks, SpaceX is now preparing for something far more ambitious. The next phase involves two starships performing a complex orbital ballet, connecting belly to belly hundreds of miles above Earth to transfer the lifeblood of space exploration, fuel. This is where the precision of the new systems becomes crucial. The refueling process requires two starships to dock with unprecedented accuracy while managing the complex dynamics of liquid propellants in zero gravity. The enhanced control systems being tested now at the launch pad will directly inform these future orbital operations. The technical challenges are immense. Consider the physics involved. When two starships approach for docking, their fuel tanks still contain significant amounts of propellant. Every minor thruster adjustment creates waves within these tanks, a phenomenon that could potentially destabilize the entire docking procedure. SpaceX's solution involves a sophisticated network of sensors and automated systems, building upon their experience with Dragon capsules, but scaled up dramatically for Starship's massive size. One of the most innovative aspects of the refueling system is its elegant simplicity in managing propellant transfer. Rather than relying on complex pump systems, SpaceX has developed a pressure differential approach. By precisely controlling the pressure between tanks, they can manage the flow of both liquid methane and oxygen with remarkable efficiency. This system has already undergone extensive ground testing with results exceeding initial expectations. The implications of these developments extend far beyond Earth orbit. NASA's adjusted timeline for lunar missions in late 2027 has actually given SpaceX additional time to perfect these systems. Each launch between now and then serves as a crucial data point, helping engineers refine everything from the ground systems we see being installed today to the orbital operations that will eventually support lunar missions. Recent thermal imaging data from the launch pad has revealed another fascinating aspect of these upgrades. The new heat management systems being installed are showing thermal signatures that suggest they could handle even more powerful engines than the current Raptor configuration. This over-engineering hints at SpaceX's plans for future Starship variants with potentially greater thrust capabilities. Adding to these groundbreaking developments, SpaceX has integrated a new suite of sensors throughout the launch facility. These sensors provide real-time data about everything from structural stress to thermal loads, creating a comprehensive picture of how the pad responds during launches. This information feeds into a machine learning system that helps predict maintenance needs before they become critical issues. The true genius of these upgrades lies in their synergy. Each modification from the enhanced lifting pins to the reinforced flame diverter works in concert with the others. Together, they create a launch system that's not just more capable, but more reliable and efficient than ever before. This systematic approach to improvement reflects SpaceX's deep understanding that successful space exploration requires attention to every detail, no matter how small. As we've seen today, SpaceX's latest launch pad upgrades represent far more than just routine maintenance. Each modification, from the revolutionary lifting system to the advanced thermal protection, tells a story of relentless innovation. These changes aren't just preparing for Flight 7. They're laying the groundwork for a future where lunar missions and Mars exploration become routine operations. The synergy between ground systems and orbital capabilities showcases SpaceX's holistic approach to space exploration. With up to 25 launches planned for next year and orbital refueling on the horizon, these upgrades mark a crucial stepping stone toward making multi-planetary travel a reality. If you're as excited as we are about these groundbreaking developments in space technology, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's journey to the stars. Hit that like button if you learned something new about the launch pad upgrades and share your thoughts about these innovations in the comments below. Your engagement helps us bring you more in-depth coverage of SpaceX's revolutionary achievements. Don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who'd appreciate understanding these technical advances. Together, we're witnessing history in the making at Starbase. See you in our next episode, where we'll continue exploring the cutting edge of space technology.
In the 20th century, humanity achieved its greatest technological triumph, landing on the moon. Today, an even greater challenge awaits us in the 21st century, establishing the first human settlement on Mars. This ambitious dream is becoming reality through a groundbreaking partnership between the world's leading space organizations, with plans to launch as early as the 2030s. The red planet beckons us from 250 million miles away, a journey that will take our brave pioneers six to seven months to traverse. But reaching Mars is only the beginning. The true challenge lies in creating a sustainable human presence on an alien world. That's why the most advanced spacecraft ever designed, Starship, will serve as the cornerstone of this historic mission. This isn't just another space mission. It's humanity's first step toward becoming a multi-planetary civilization. As international competition grows and space programs worldwide race to reach Mars, Starship stands alone as the only vehicle specifically designed for this monumental endeavor, representing a crucial advantage in this bold venture to extend human presence beyond Earth. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The journey to Mars begins with an unexpected discovery. During a routine scan of the Martian surface, satellites detected something extraordinary, vast underground caverns near the planned landing sites. These natural formations could revolutionize our approach to colonization, offering natural protection from radiation and extreme temperatures. This discovery would prove crucial to what would become humanity's greatest adventure. The first phase of our Mars mission launches under the crimson dawn of a new era. As the initial unmanned starship breaks free from Earth's atmosphere, millions watch in awe. But this mission carries more than just equipment. It carries the hopes and dreams of an entire species. The robotic pioneers aboard face their first major challenge just minutes after landing when a fierce dust storm threatens to overwhelm their solar panels. In a dramatic demonstration of artificial intelligence's capabilities, the machines automatically deploy innovative dust-repelling force fields, technology that would later save countless lives during colony operations. Deep beneath the Martian surface, these automated explorers make another groundbreaking discovery. The underground ice deposits are far more extensive than anyone imagined, and they contain traces of ancient organic compounds. This finding not only guarantees water security for future colonists, but raises tantalizing questions about Mars's past. Could these same deposits have once harbored life? The red water drilling system proves its worth in an unexpected way. While boring through the ice sheets, it uncovers a network of natural tunnels formed by ancient water flows. These passages become integral to the colony's design, offering ready-made conduits for power lines and water distribution. But working in these tunnels presents unique challenges. The first drilling robot is nearly lost when it encounters a cavern collapse forcing engineers to develop new autonomous rescue protocols. As phase two approaches, the selection of the first human crew captures the world's attention. These pioneers aren't just astronauts. They're farmers, engineers, doctors, and builders. Among them is Dr. Sarah Chen, a brilliant geologist whose research on Martian soil composition would later save the colony's first crop from failure. There's also Mohammed Al-Rahman, whose revolutionary water recycling system design would eventually allow the colony to recover 99.9% .9 of all moisture, even from human breath. The journey to Mars tests these colonists in ways no one anticipated. Halfway through their six-month voyage, a micrometeoroid punctures one of Starship's auxiliary tanks. The crew must repair it during a nerve-wracking spacewalk, showcasing the type of resourcefulness that would become characteristic of Martian settlers. Their successful handling of this crisis becomes required viewing in all future colonist training programs. Landing day brings its own heart-stopping moments. The first human crewed starship encounters stronger than expected winds during descent, forcing the AI landing system to adapt in real time. The touchdown succeeds, but the close call leads to crucial improvements in landing algorithms, making future arrivals safer. The early days of the colony reveal both triumphs and near disasters. The first attempt to grow food almost ends in failure when Martian soil proves more alkaline than expected. Dr. Chen's quick thinking and analysis saved the crop, leading to the development of new soil treatment techniques. The colonists discovered that certain earth plants, when genetically modified, actually thrive in these conditions, growing faster than they would on Earth. A major breakthrough comes during phase three, 
When colonists discover they can combine Martian minerals with processed ice to create an incredibly strong building material. This Mars Grate is twice as durable as Earth concrete and provides excellent radiation shielding. The discovery transforms colony expansion plans, allowing for larger and more ambitious structures than originally envisioned. The colony faces its greatest test during the Great Dust Storm of 2039. For three weeks, the settlement endures near total darkness as massive dust clouds block out the sun. The backup nuclear power system proves its